Hello, Kitty. In the last video, we talked about the coloring stage of the comic book creation process. My favorite stage. It's the second least time-consuming part of the process. Now, the fastest part is the next stage, which is when we add the text. In my last three comic books, Mumbo's Jumbo, Nod and Sleep, and Dragon Song, I added the lettering together with the colors. You know, Kitty, I wrote those short stories first and foremost as a gift to my nieces and nephew. So everything was handwritten, just like you would a love letter. This time around, with our big book project, I decided to draw the panel art on its own sheet of paper, separate from the text. I wanted each panel illustration to look like a complete picture that could easily stand alone on its own or look like it was meant to be hung up on a wall. I learned to appreciate this approach when I created my third comic book, Dragon Song, which was illustrated in the style of medieval illuminated manuscripts. Here, we have bordered illustrations separate from the calligraphy. When I did this, I realized it was easier to color my illustrations because there's no need to color around empty balloon boxes like I did in my first two comic books. In effect, this taught me how to compose my panel illustrations in a more picturesque manner. Now that I don't have to think about leaving an empty space for the text, I ended up subconsciously illustrating every panel as if it were a piece of painting on a canvas. It was a nice accidental lesson to learn. Now I can enjoy the book in three different ways. Number one, for its artwork all on its own, like I would staring at a painting. Number two, for its written story, like I would reading a novel. And number three, for the combined effect of image and text, like I would in a traditional comic book. I first made use of tracing papers and a pencil to lay in the text over the illustrations. Now this is still in its draft stage. Ultimately, what I'll be doing is, I will be adding the text over the scanned artworks using the computer and the font based on my handwriting. But first, I'm penciling all the text this way, so that I have a physical guide for when I start adding the text digitally. Having a handwritten copy of the text makes it enjoyable for me to proofread the entire story. On one hand, I'm literally behaving like I'm writing a book. And then, once I've laid in all the text and start to review what I've written, it then feels like I'm reading an actual printed book. To hold the pages in my hand and hear the rustle when I flip through each of them and smell all those colors, all that sensory input adds to the enjoyment of completing another illuminated manuscript. Alright, that's all for now. I'll talk to you later.